Hey, this is Jared with VidEasy.com, and today we're going to dive into the flag template and show you how to use the flag controls as well as replacing what is going to be on the flag. So let's go ahead and dive in. We have some advanced flag controls. We have a 4K and a 1080p option, and we have uh, adjustable brightness to the scene as well as it's on alpha. So the key features are the flag controls as well as the fact that you can go inside these comps within the 1080 and 4K versions and swap out the flag template. So if you go up to your comps you'll see there's a American flag 4K and an American flag 1080. So all you do is you replace these with the asset that you want to uh, whether it's a flag or whether it's a uh, you know background or logo or anything you want to sport on a flag. I'll go ahead and let you see the animation. Um, this is the preset. This is the default I set it to. So it's all very native to After Effects and you won't need any third-party plugins to use it. So if you go to the flag controls, you can see that we have wind strength, wind speed, and wind ripples. Now these are set up to control the flag. Now if you want to add wind strength, what it's going to do is it's going to make those ripples that are already there within the flag, the waves, um, they're going to be a little more defined as far as like uh, further on the Z axis. So you can see how that does that. And if we put it down, let's go down to like 25, you'll see that, you know, there's hardly any ripples there. Um, and we'll put it back up. A default I set everything default to a hundred for the preset so you can work from there but you can see here how it's got like a lot of wind uh, going on to it so let's go back to the default and then you can see if, if you want the wind speed to go faster we have a speed option as well as ripples so if I put my ripples up you can see that there's gonna be more reactive wind so a little more like I guess if you're going for more of a realistic wind uh, you'd want the ripples to go up as well as the wind strength so let's go ahead and try this one. Let's try, let's try, uh, let's setting the speed up here a little bit. Let's go to like 150, um, or let's, let's crank it. Let's go really fast. And let's see what this looks like. I want you to see how this controls the flag. So I paused the recording here because it's a pretty slow render, this template, uh, because of what it's using to make it happen within After Effects. Um, but you can see here by tweaking those settings, we have, you know, a, a pretty heavy wind look. Uh, but it gives you a lot of control to do many different things with the flags and the fact that you can control the wind very dynamically and very easily as well as controlling what's on the flag makes it a pretty powerful template now let's cover the inner flag so let's go to the flag comp this is where you can change this out and put anything you want so I have a Canadian flag to do just that so you can bring your flag in and just resize it to the comp um, and just make sure you do uh, make sure you scale it from corner to corner whatever you're doing just because that's the way this this comp is gonna work now all we need to do is go back in where see we're in the 4k template so let's just go over here and, and you can see that the flag updates to the Canadian flag um, and you know we could do the same thing uh, for let's say the Brazilian flag you know we could bring the Brazilian flag in here and do the same thing um, fit to the edges and go back and take a look and there you go so what else is kind of cool here is we, we don't have just the limitations of, of doing you know uh, national flags we could also come in here and do a custom what's really neat is you don't have to just use a pre-made flag or a solid or still you can you can create your own scene within this comp and you know there can be as many layers as you'd like it could even be an animation so let's pull in, let's just put the VidEZ flag. Let's make the VidEZ flag here. Uh, here's the VidEZ logo I have over a solid. Um, just to do a pretty simple flag here. Let's, let's also just, for fun, let's put a stripe on it. Let's put a stripe right on the flag. Top. And... Low. Let's do something like that and see what that looks like. Let's go back over to our main comp and it updates. There we go. We have a vid easy flag. I just wanted to show you that you can easily create anything 
and turn it into a flag, uh, and 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 then go ahead and tweak the flag controls to get a look that you like. So we could even, you know, turn the wind strength back up to 125 and add the wind speed to like 150 and add a few more ripples and uh, see what that turns out to look like. All right, so let's take a look at it. Yeah, so you can see that we've uh, we've added some more ripples and wind strength and, and the speed is a little faster uh, and we were able to adapt uh, the entire flag and what's being shown on top of the flag from within our, our 4K comp there. Um, anything we do in the 4K can also be done over here in the 1080 comp. This is just if you don't need the 4K, go ahead and do everything we did inside the 1080. It's the same idea. Go to the flag 1080 uh, composition and change everything in there. So we could even, you know, if we wanted to, we could go in and say, let's take our flag from our 4K version. We want to put it in here, so let's uh, let's parent everything to a null real quickly. Um, actually, the best way to do this is to parent the null in the center of the flag you want to copy from. So, if you go ahead and create a null and just call it like uh, resize resizer, um, you can copy everything. You can parent everything to the resizer. Copy everything from this layer, and if you copy it from here uh, along with the resizer. So when you created that null, it puts it in the center here um, automatically. So you can copy all the contents from here, paste it right within the 1080 flag uh, composition, and then now you have that resizer that you can uh, take down to 50% uh, because 1080 is half of 4K. And you know, just go ahead and reposition this uh, in here. And, and we know that 960 by 540 is half of 1080. So there we go. We have our 1080 flag uh, the same way we had our 4K. And we can go ahead and change these as well uh, and, and get the same results. So let's, let's slow it down and, and get a little less ripples here. There we go. So I, I hope this has been helpful for you. I really want you to enjoy these flag templates. I think that with these you can do a lot, have a lot of control, and you have 4K and 1080 options as well as being able to put whatever you want inside the flag and also change the dynamics of wind speed and strength as well as the ripple count. So if you found this video helpful at all, uh, go ahead and leave us a like um, and subscribe if you would really like to see more videos like this. We're going to be pushing more content out and, and getting more uh, video tutorials out to explain the content that we're creating with these templates that are free on vidizy.com. So whether you're a novice or you're an expert, I think this is going to be a very helpful template for anyone trying to do a flag uh, in, in any one of their videos. So I really hope it was helpful and uh, I'll definitely see you guys next time.